Hi guys, this is Alfonso from AXM again. I was checking all my videos from the MK1 model and I just realized that I was missing something very important on how to assemble the bulkhead of the engine section. So stay tuned and check out this video and I'll show you how to. Alright, so these are the parts of um, that form the bulkhead of the engine section of the MK1 vehicle. It's just a base of rings all together and this is the upper part, the upper cone. Um, and, and looking at the picture here that I was showing you, this is the completed bulkhead of the MK1 with a new Raptors, the modified Raptors that I designed um, last year and uh, I, you, can, you can see these on a, on a video that I made some time ago that I explained how to assemble the Raptors but I did not include um, videos showing how to assemble the, the, the bulkhead. So this is the video today. Here next to it is the, um, the newer uh, modified bulkhead for the Starship SN series. So SN stands for serial number. I uh, remember the MK1 stands for Mark 1. That was actually a prototype, the very first introduction of the Starship vehicles. And uh, it never flew. It was only presented at Boca Chica, uh, but the serial numbers have been uh, uh, modified extensively. And this is the difference. You can see uh, the bulkhead. There's no more of uh, this upper cone. And instead is the same uh, a dome that extends all the way up with the opening of this section so you, the Raptors can be installed. Um, so let's go back to the model. So we're going to uh, curve these rings, put them together, the whole thing. I here present two completed uh, bulkheads. This is for the SN8. And at the time of this video, we are getting very close to the test of the Starship SN9 vehicle. All right, so it's very similar to this. Um, this one is um, a bulkhead, is the upper, actually an upper dome of uh, the Starship. Totally different it houses it doesn't house uh the this cone to put raptors this is a upper dome that goes in the middle section um, on the vehicle it's actually a closed dome all right so now we're going to go ahead and show you how to assemble this